Go on. Well, the surprise there from Christo Reyes with a 12 data following that 25 data. So Christo Reyes has taken fewer than half the number of darts to win that leg as he took in the first leg. Uh, but yes, uh, model plane flying enthusiast is Bastian Pichnik. Okay. 121. I mean, look, I, I'm taking this as absolute gospel for some random Austrian website that I found. So, hey, look, 140. And it was only written, what, a couple of weeks ago. So, he might have written it, he could write anything. But I'm, I, it looks kosher to me. 140. He's a painter. What, as in a decorator or as in Don't a know, might be an artist. impressionist? Might be, yeah. I don't mean an impressionist artist. as in Mike Yarwood. I mean an yes. impressionist as in... <laughs> as in name from the what, past for the lawyer. kids? <laughs> Rob Milan, he's a great of reference, but shudderingly, <laughs> shudderingly into play there. The first one, Rory Bremner. Let's bring it up today. <laughs> Well, Christo Reyes, it, uh, literally, he could go 12 data, 11 data after that first leg. We can still do another 12. Double 19. Game <laughs> shot on the third leg. <laughs> Christo Reyes. I maybe said Mike Yarwood. I was well, thinking Chris so the first. Michael Barnard. Game on. Run as well. Michael Bar Does Michael Barnard do impressions? No, but it sounds like Mike Yarwood. <laughs> maybe he does. We, we will find out. Anyway, we, d we digress. Here. Reyes has opened up a 3 0 lead. Fairly. Swiftly, shall we say? Well, I mean, the last two legs have been very swift. Mm. They took and 24 darts. For the first leg. Yeah, it took 25 for the first leg on its own. Desired opponent, Michael Van Gerwen. Well, we'll he's not going to get that wish we'll, we'll granted this that weekend. Bridge when we come to it. Um, yeah, sorry, you, this is Rob Malarkey reading from the Austrian yeah. website. He's not, just, he's not just plucked that out of the air. It's not M Rob Malarkey's desired opponent. This is Bastian Pichnig's desired opponent. Yeah. On the little fact file that we've got. Oh, oh hobbies, four. fishing. It'll, yeah, well, fishing, yeah, it'll, fishing, it'll, flying model planes. Maybe an invite for the PDC fishing day. Well, wherever that, that is, that will in be Essex coming up. somewhere. Yeah, yeah somewhere. Your down name's down, down for that, that I'll, I'll be there. I don't know first thing about fishing. But then again, neither do a lot of the people involved. 95. Dan Dawson has every edition of Fishomania. Every single one. I can't get enough on of his it. computer hard drive. <laughs> I can. 140. <laughs> he loves a bit of Fishomania. <laughs> It always baffled me why Sky never sent their reporter James Haddock to Fishomania. I just thought that it was—it just lent itself to a great story in its own right. That. Once again, we digress. Peachnigger on 140 here, but Rares is on 63, and now he's on 50, and now he's on double 16 for a 4-0 lead. 31. Bastien Uruguay 140. Well, go on then. Go on, Bastien. Why not? Oh. Don't bust it. Oh, no, right, there we go. Chris Uruguay, 32. Another one of those then, Christo. Now double four. Should have moved back to the centre of the Swing Oki, shouldn't you? Because that extra inch Uruguay, might have made a difference. A first leg in PDC darts for Bastian Pichnig. Did they get Bastian to throw first? A break of throw Game against on. the Spanish number one. Well, this would be one heck of a fight back if you to pull this one off. It would be one of these stories on the European Tour, I think, after that horror show of the first leg. Well, look, Bastian Pichnig, obviously... <laughs> The, the first leg is not representative of this man's talent, is it? No. Is it? This is a lad going up on stage and playing darts for the first time in front of 2,000 people who are screaming him on. In his home country. Yeah, and, you know, he's nervous. And it showed. And then he's seen Christo Reyes, who is, has got a vast amount of experience 100. now firing back-to-back -back 12 darters against him, but he's still found a way to get a leg of the ball. Credit to him. And maybe, if he can settle down and get back to play 
the stuff that presumably plays regularly with the freak heroes down in Klagenfurt. He's got a chance. 140. Oh, already saw a spirited effort from Hannah Schneer tonight. But, you know, Hannah said, you know, even though he'd been away from darts for a long time, the PDC, he still had that 41. experience to cause. Him. This is brand new for Bastian. Eighty-one. Well, that leaves tops then for uh, Reyes to break back straight away here. Six. Mm, just looking a little Six. bit 40. frustrated there is Peach Nick as he manages only sixty. Double ten for Reyes. Double five on the and leg. Reyes does break back straight away. Big leg and I Christo suppose while we have the chance, we should really mention that. Um, Last night, okay, you can only beat what's put in front of you, but Game on. Pichnik had two 6 0 wins in qualifying, one of them against our friend Armin Glanzer. Mm. Uh, the other was against Gunther Reckberger, and they have a, a 6 4 win against Felix Lausanne in the final round of qualifying 96. last night to secure his European tour debut. Paul Nicholson studiously looking at the lineup from last night. Something obviously caught the eye there. Safety. Was it Wilhelm Schwingenschugel that uh, caught the eye? Yeah, it was. 100. 60. And the array is in control of this one. He has 76 the lead plus these. But um, oh, he's out of trouble there. One hundred and forty. Christo Reyes still searching for his first appearance in a quarter-final since that Austrian darts open run. So that shows you how alarmingly he had back-to-back -back semi-finals on the Euro Tour, and he was looking like he was going to be the next cab off the rank in terms of a new PDC winner, whether it be on the European Tour or the Pro Tour. Safety. But that's when things started to go a little bit wrong. First round exit the European Championship and the World Grand Prix. First round exit the Players' Championship finals and the World 60. Championship. Did make it to the UK Open, but only just. Only picked up a grand over the six events. But, but he did beat Rob Cross earlier this month. 140. In Barnes. 142. Now, chance for a second leg on the board, or is it for Bastian Pichnig? It is. Ray has stayed there, trying to leave double 11. 90. Couldn't get the job done. Bastian Uruguay, 41. Well, this is for a third successive break in this match. And he has two darts at double 16. Oh, double 12 it is then. Yeah, wipe your brow. 29. Griffith Uruguay, 52. 12. That's the new require. 12. Well, he could yet get embroiled in something. He's nearly busted his score again. Well, I say again. 6 score. That's the require. 40. 6 Well, it's far from Christo convincing Ray. from Christo Reyes, but he does Seven lead 5 1. To throw first. Game on. He does. And he is one leg away from a meeting with Yella Klaassen, the Cobra, a man who is really struggling for form at the minute, has to be said. 100. This little section of the draw, it's a difficult one to pick who comes out of it. Darius Labanowskis came through against Richie Edhouse. He's pretty good, probably one of the top performers of the afternoon session, Darius, yeah. in seeing off Richie Edhouse. He's got Mensor Sulevich there. So Mensor 60. will be the favourite to come through this little section of the draw into that quarter final. It's also a quarter with Daryl Gurney, the number four seed. Darren Webster, who's played some great darts. Richie Burnett, who's a 6 0 winner. And Ron the Bomb Mühlenkamp. And we know Ron Mühlenkamp actually beat Daryl Gurney last time out. They met on the European Tour. Yeah, in Leverkusen. Yeah, I don't think it was pretty, but he did win it in 7 180s in that game, as I recall. He did. Absolutely spot on, Dan. We uh, alluded to that one earlier today as well during the Mühlenkamp match. 108! 
to... Yeah, Reyes closing in here. Danger for Pietschnik that he could end up with a 60-something average here as well. It's just above 71 at the moment. 78. And there's 78 just to keep it above that threshold. The 139. Only good players take out the 139. Ooh. 99. And that will leave him double top, Christo Reyes, to close this one out with a 6-1 win. There will be just the one Austrian left in the Austrian Darts Open. That is the Champions League of Darts winner, Mensor Sulevic, the number five seed. A potential opponent for Christo Reyes in the last 16, but it's Jelle Klaassen for him tomorrow when we return for the second round. The seeded players entering the fray, the likes of the top seed, Peter Wright, the tournament favourite, Rob Cross. Rob Cross will take on Steve West, who was excellent today, one of the standout performers. But that will do us from Gratz tonight. We will see you tomorrow, 1 p.m. local time. Every single game streamed live on PDC TV. Eight matches in the afternoon, eight in the evening, and Cristo Reyes has just booked his place there. Ladies and gents, going through to tomorrow. Christo Reyes! Ladies and gents, that was the last match of the first round. Our second round starts tomorrow at 1 p.m. Have a very safe journey to wherever it is you'll be going. Be safe and enjoy. Ladies and gents, I hope you've had a fabulous day today. We are looking forward to just a little bit more over the next couple of days. From all of us here at the BBC Europe, ladies and gents, thank you and good night.